In the series Watchmen by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons, published by DC Comics, Adrian Veidt was undoubtedly an engrossing yet baffling character. Adrian Veidt was not a superhero with superhuman attributes, but he was depicted to be the most physically strong human being. As a human who wanted to become a superhero, this character definitely challenged our preconceived notions of a typical superhero. In this video, we're going to explore the world's smartest man's unprecedented adventures and their consequences. Whether the outcome of his activities was actually for the greater good or simply an incurable disaster is another debate that we'll let you decide upon as you make it to the end of this video. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small clip for you, but for us, it means a lot. So thank you, and let's begin. Ozymandias, aka Adrian Veidt, Origins Explored. Adrian Veidt was born as an impeccably intelligent son to rich immigrant parents named Frederick Werner Veidt and Ingrid Renata Veidt in 1939. His exceptional brain power started attracting attention. Upon seeing how his teachers and his parents were reacting to his intellect, Veidt started hiding his true intelligence. He purposely started attaining average grades in school. After several months of vigorous martial arts training, he took revenge on a boy who had been bullying him. By impairing his leg, he crippled him. To avert Veidt's expulsion from school, his father ended up having to bribe the principal. And following this incident, Veidt stopped downplaying his brilliance further and graduated from school at the age of 14. But by the age of 17, unfortunately, he had lost his parents. Veidt wholeheartedly donated all of his inherited riches to charities. Later, after returning from a self-exploration quest, he decided to become a superhero and renamed himself Ozymandias, becoming a costumed vigilante. Keeping his hair short, blonde, and organized at all times, Adrian appeared well-built structurally, yet lean. He usually dressed up in well-fitted business suits in the color range of purple and yellow in his civilian attire, whereas in his costumed expeditions, Veidt's Ozymandias outfit was a gold body suit combined with a purple cloak. Even all of his accessories were purple and golden. He also wore a gold belt and a gold headband with purple shoes and a purple mask. The Marvelous Story Arc of Ozymandias Adrian Veidt's Inspiration to Become a Savior of Mankind Adrian Veidt embarked on a self-discovery pilgrimage traveling to the Mediterranean, the Asian part of Turkey, and ancient Persia. Admiring his idol's path to rulership as he continued his journey, Veidt's heart yearned to match Alexander's accomplishments and desired to bring radiance to the unenlightened world. As Veidt headed towards Egypt, he was in complete awe of the obsolete ruins that were once under the reign of great pharaohs of ancient Egypt like Ramses II. Upon reaching Tibet, he came across a group of monks who gave him a ball of hashish and also taught him the art of utilizing the total capacity and capability of his brain. After returning to the location of Alexander's death, Death in Babylon, Veidt suddenly realized his idol's failure in unifying the world. He then traveled to Alexander's resting place at Alexandria. On the last night of his journey before returning to America, Veidt took a stroll in the desert and consumed the ball of hashish that was gifted to him in Tibet. He encountered a psychedelic transformation under the influence of this drug. Through this experience, he understood Alexander's legacy and the high rationale of the Egyptian pharaohs, which further inspired him to become a redeemer of mankind. How Adrian Veidt Became Ozymandias At the age of 19, Veidt embraced Alexander and adopted the Greek name of the Egyptian pharaoh Ramses II, renaming himself Ozymandias. On becoming a costume vigilante, Ozymandias made his debut by busting up a huge drug smuggling racket in New York City. He particularly prevented criminal activities led by Moloch the Mystic. Ozymandias' intellectual brilliance earned him the reputation of the smartest man in the world. Later, he got a proposal to join the team of crime busters from the superhero named Captain Metropolis. But the formation of this new superhero team was disrupted by the comedian, and as a result, the group was never successful because the team's formation was abandoned. This incident triggered Ozymandias' motive of saving the world, and he started plotting his own plan of accomplishing world peace by any means necessary. 
Ozzy Mendez versus the Comedian While on a plane during a mission, the Comedian observed something dubious on an unknown island. After some investigation, he learned about the illegal activities happening on the island and the person responsible for such wrongdoing. He learned the island was secretly owned by Adrian Veidt, who was using it to build an alien monster in his attempt to unite mankind while fighting against it. And to prohibit Dr. Manhattan's intervention in the plan, Veidt hired Manhattan's old associates and secretly exposed them to a radio inducing terminal cancer. Framing Dr. Manhattan for the cause, he enforced him to flee to another planet. With this clever fabrication, Vite ensured the smooth execution of his plan. The comedian discovered the list of the cancer-infected people and assumed Edgar Jacobi, aka Moloch the Mystic, to be one of the few people possibly not involved in Vite's plan. After accidentally realizing Vite's petrifying plan to end the Cold War, the comedian was panic-stricken. In a drunken state, Blake broke into Jacobi's apartment at night and confessed to him about his horrifying discovery on Veidt's private island. Veidt learned about the comedian's discovery through a bug that he had covertly placed in Edgar Jacobi's apartment, and to prevent the disclosure of his master plan, Veidt went over to the comedian's apartment and attacked him. The comedian was eventually assassinated at the hands of Veidt by getting thrown out of his window. Adrian Veidt's self-plotted assassination attempt. The death of Eddie Blake, aka the comedian, caught the attention of the vigilante named Rorschach. He started to independently investigate the murder. After searching Eddie's apartment and finding a costume concealed in a closet, he came to know about his hidden identity of being the comedian. This discovery led to Rorschach's misinterpretation of an ongoing conspiracy to murder costume adventurers. On the other hand, in order to remove Rorschach's intuition of Veidt's involvement in Eddie Blake's death, Veidt devised a plan to stage his own assassination attempt. He made an employee named Pyramid Deliveries who worked in his subsidiary business unknowingly hire a contract killer called Roy Victor Chess to assassinate Veidt. The assassin executed his task by entering the building where Veidt was talking to his secretary about his business schedule. The assassin ended up killing the secretary when he openly fired on Veidt, but as he continued to accomplish his job, Veidt subdued the killer by disarming him. Veidt forcefully fed him a cyanide capsule, thereby killing him while pretending to publicly interrogate him in front of the witness. He then accused Rorschach to be the culprit and imposed murder charges upon him. Having faith in Rorschach's previous investigation of Eddie Blake's death, Night Owl and Silk Spectra managed to release Rorschach from prison. Ozzy Mendez's is Deadly Squid Attack In the series of Watchmen comics, Adrian Veidt's aka Ozzy Mendez has designed a plot to build a colossal squid creature. He kidnapped many scientists who implanted the cloned brain of a departed psychic. And in the fifth episode of Damon Lindelof's Watchmen series, when the world was afraid of a possible imminent nuclear war between the United States and Russia, Ozzy Mendez took the matter into his own hands. In order to ward off his obliteration, he teleported the squid using the company's technology and used it to traumatize the New Yorkers. The monster was a behemoth that resembled a transmuted squid. Ozzy Mendez dispatched it to the city of New York, where it wreaked havoc. It unleashed a shockwave from its brain, killing three million people. Ozzy Mendez united the tormented crowd to act against the alien invasion by falsely convincing them that they had become victims of an alien onslaught. Ozzy Mendez considered this devastation as the only way to prevent the superpowers of Earth from killing each other in a deadly nuclear war. And his plan surprisingly worked as countries around the globe, including Russia, offered their support to America, keeping aside any enraging political atrocity between them. And that's why Ozzy Mendez was believed to have saved the world by killing millions as President Richard Nixon announced world peace. But when some heroes came to know about this man-made massacre actuated by Ozzy Mendez, they were utterly disgusted. The scenario was such that if the truth got exposed, it would instigate the furious crowd into a nuclear war in retaliation. So in view of the outrageous consequence of its revelation, the heroes struggled to keep it a secret. But Rorschach, being a man of high morale, was extremely stubborn in revealing to everyone about the bloodshed that Ozzy Mendez had committed. Hence, to stop him, Dr. Manhattan eliminated Rorschach in the name of public good for the long run. 
The Events of Doomsday Clock In the Watchmen sequel series Doomsday Clock, written by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, Rorschach's journal was published by the New York Gazette. The journal exposed Veidt's misdeeds, accelerating the world into a state of further disarray. This exposure provoked a huge backlash against Veidt, forcing him to go into hiding. As a result, Veidt's plan to unite the world failed putting the world on the verge of war once again. To resolve the chaos and save the world from nuclear annihilation, he allied with Rorschach's successor, Reginald Long, to locate Dr. Manhattan, who was believed to be capable of restoring peace. By following Manhattan's electron trail in his repaired owl ship, Veidt reached the universe where Manhattan had transported himself. In the new dimension, as he approached Lex Luthor to aid in his endeavor to find Dr. Manhattan, Veidt was attacked by the comedian. The vigilante who was sent there by Manhattan engaged in a brawl with Veidt, ending up throwing him out of the window. Veidt was hospitalized after collapsing on top of a car after falling from 20 stories. He fled the hospital upon receiving allegations of trying to assassinate Lex Luthor. Retrieving Bubastis, Ozymandias escaped and returned to the owl ship the next morning. On reaching the owl ship, he was confronted by Batman, whom he threw over a group of anti-hero protesters below his ship. Accompanied by his pet Lynx, Bubastis, and the Green Lantern, Veidt traveled to Manhattan's location at the Joker's lair. Reginald Long, Saturn Girl, and Johnny Thunder joined him as well. They found Batman fighting Mariana and Mime at their best destination spot. Dr. Manhattan, after getting summoned by the Green Lantern and Bubastis, refused to return with them. Upon arrival, Manhattan revealed to everyone about Veidt's lie of having cancer only to get Reginald's help. With Veidt's lie disclosed, Reginald punched him and left. Veidt returned to the Owl ship and claimed to be able to save everyone after attacking Irma Ardine and Johnny Thunder. He then generated an explosion in Russia using Bubastis' energy. The Justice League superheroes assumed that the energy of the explosion in Russia matched that of Dr. Manhattan. They then traced his location and teleported to Mars, confronting him about the same. Following their clash, a battle ensued. After defeating all the superheroes on Mars, Manhattan returned to Earth and met Superman. Upon confrontation, he explained to Superman how he had altered the timeline in the past merely out of sheer curiosity, which led to the removal of many superheroes along with his parents' death. He also revealed further the actual reason behind his departure from Watchmen Earth, unveiling his vision of the future where an enraged Superman either killed him or vice versa, Dr. Manhattan asked Spider-Man to make the choice. Superman made the choice of protecting Dr. Manhattan from Pozar's attack. Pozar was a Russian superhero with nuclear powers and leader of Russia's superhuman team called the People's Heroes. Superman ultimately convinced Dr. Manhattan to make good use of his powers. Dr. Manhattan then returned to his universe and saved the distressed Earth. Veidt slowly disclosed his plan of engineering the confrontation between Manhattan and Superman in order to persuade Dr. Manhattan to save the Earth. To punish Veidt for all of his misdeeds, Rorschach healed Veidt's bleeding as he got shot by the comedian. Dr. Manhattan then transferred Rorschach and Ozymandias back to the Watchmen universe where Veidt was put behind bars for his crimes. <laughs> Ozymandias' appearance in Watchmen 2009 movie. The role of Veidt was played by Matthew Good in the film. In the movie, Veidt's backstory was a bit different compared to the comics as he gave up his family's wealth and became a self-made man because he was ashamed of his parents' Nazi past. Veidt's course of action in the movie was similar to that of the comics, excluding one exception. In the movie, Veidt generated a sequence of terrible explosions around the world, resulting in millions of deaths. He staged the terrorist attacks and put the blame of the disaster on Dr. Manhattan very slyly. His intention was to create a false impression that Dr. Manhattan was malicious. He hoped to unite the world to fight against Dr. Manhattan as their common enemy by framing him as humanity's greatest pitfall. And indeed, the devastating scenario led the world leaders to come together as one and overcome the menace. Takes one to no one. Ozymane Deus' appearances in Watchmen 2019 television series. In the television series, an older version of Veidt in continuance of the comics was portrayed by Jeremy Irons. Preceding the events of the series, Veidt had unleashed celestial squid attacks in New York City, killing three million people and traumatizing them. In this manner, he managed to ward off the outbreak of a nuclear war. Playing the salient antagonist of the series, Veidt made his first appearance in the first episode, It's Summer and We're Running Out of Ice. 
He had created a species of clones who pledged their undying loyalty to him and also acted as his servants. In the second episode of the series, after faking his demise, Veidt kept himself out of the public eye by hiding in a royal castle in a picturesque countryside on one of the moons of Jupiter. But when he strived to return to Earth, his servants tried detaining him. He eventually succeeded in escaping with the help of one of his clone's servants and mounted a rocket to reach Earth. Veidt had a daughter called Triu whom he conceived through artificial fertilization. His daughter persuaded him into targeting Dr. Manhattan and stealing his powers to recover the damaged Earth. But gradually, Veidt detected her true motives and vowed to stop her. Already owning high scientific intelligence through genetics, his daughter desired to become limitlessly powerful, gaining Dr. Manhattan's powers. With police officers named Wade Tillman, Angela Abar, and FBI agent Laurie Blake's aid, Veidt released his revived squids on his daughter's operative base in Oklahoma. She was ultimately killed, and her equipment to extract Manhattan's power was also destroyed. Following his daughter's death, Veidt was arrested for executing the previous attacks of the squids that killed multitudes of people. Despite the protests of his actions serving as a medium to flourish peace in the long run, he was eventually imprisoned. What made Ozymandias so powerful? Veidt's extraordinary wit efficiently grasped information instantly, enabling an accelerated learning capacity. Veidt's photographic memory power remembered every possible instance. His charismatic nature favored him to manipulate people to support his viewpoint. Veidt's fabulous engineering skills helped him to design high-tech machinery. His remarkable analytical skills helped him predict the stock market with precision and eventually established him as a multi-millionaire business head. Skill in several forms of martial arts, Veidt had become an expert at reading body language. His high reflexes and phenomenal combat skills made him sharp enough to even catch an opponent's bullet from a distance. He was the epitome of physical prowess with mental abilities. Veidt was indeed supremely powerful. Marvelous Verdict Adrian Veidt retitled himself as Ozymandias, getting inspired by his evergreen idol Alexander the Great and the ancient pharaoh Ramses II. He actuated a dreadful course of events in his attempt to restore world peace while lying at the edge of an enraging nuclear war in the comics Watchmen, abolishing anybody's existence who caused hindrance in his plans of achieving Utopia Earth he proved to be a ruthless master tactician. He was last seen held captive behind bars by Dr. Manhattan. The fact that he dropped a gigantic creature and murdered a mass of people, including ones who helped him in the process, was an indication of insanity. Since Veidt thought that he was doing the right thing despite bringing everything down, leaves us with the uncertainty of him being a maniac, which might be explored in the future. Hence, there are chances of Adrian Veidt's reappearance owning to his utmost dedication towards accomplishing his goals. To support or condemn his measures in the name of welfare could further be analyzed and judged in the upcoming storylines of DC. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thank you, everyone. You could say that. <laughs>